Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Teacher Cast Educational Network. Welcome back to our video series all about Teams and all the great things that you guys can be doing with Microsoft Teams in your classroom. This is video number six. Today, we're talking all about accessibility features, some of the things that we can do to make our Microsoft Teams experience available for all students. Of course, with me are Jenny and Celine. Ladies, how are you today? Welcome back to our program. Hey, okay. Jeff. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much for being here. It is so great to have you. Of course, as we said, this is video number six. In our last video, we talked all about collaboration and different things that we can do with Microsoft Teams. Talk to us a little bit about some of the feedback that we've gotten from that episode. It's been great. Uh, we've even had some teachers plan some collaboration lessons together and really use some of the things we shared. It is so nice to see everybody taking advantage of these. Of course, if you guys are looking for more information about Microsoft Teams, you can follow this series over at teachercast.net slash Microsoft EDU. And if you're looking to get into the education world and are interested in anything happening at the Microsoft education community, you guys can check out everything over at education.microsoft.com. Now, Jenny and Celine, today we're talking all about accessibility. What does that feature mean to you? Well, accessibility means making learning accessible for all, um, whatever level your students are at, um, just you know, kind of leveling the playing field and giving them the tools they need so that everyone can learn in the environment that suits them best. And that's so important because obviously in the classroom, we have students who learn in all different varieties and we need to make sure that we have the tools and the curriculum that are gonna meet the needs of every single one of our students. Microsoft Learning Tools are great for teachers to be able to differentiate for their students. They allow the teacher to present materials through various Microsoft products that offer students the ability to access the content in a way that best suits their learning style. They can access content through immersive reader, dictation, and translation. These are just a few of our favorites. This image is a living chart that continues to evolve as more accessibility tools become available in the Microsoft Suite. As you can see, it is available in OneNote, Word, Outlook, Teams, Flipgrid, and more. Stay tuned as more features become available. That's absolutely great. Jenny, could you talk to us a little bit about what we can be doing with those tools inside of Microsoft Teams? Sure, I'd love to share with you how teachers can differentiate for students utilizing all these tools that are accessible in Teams. Let's start with Immersive Reader. Immersive Reader is a full screen reading experience to increase readability of content in OneNote or other platforms such as Office Lens, Flipgrid, Word, and even the Edge browser. Learning Tools is designed to support students with dyslexia and dyscraphia in the classroom but it can also support anyone who wants to make reading on their device easier. First of all, you want to open your document and click View and then Immersive Reader. Then we can click Play and listen to the document be read to us. Flip Hunt Fun, Tasks, Points, Charades. Play a game of charades where each team to differentiate for students that need anything read to them, Immersive Reader is the perfect option. Here are a few of our favorite features. Line focus, we love the picture dictionary, and there's even translation. The V. Immersive Reader and Translate are also available in the conversation menu. When you go to Conversations, you click on the ellipsis on an individual post. You can also see Immersive Reader and Translate from this view. These features are also available in many Microsoft products like Flipgrid, OneNote, Word, PowerPoint, and many more within Teams. Dictation is one of my very favorite tools. I can be much more efficient when I speak what I need to say and then go back and edit the text later. Let's try it out. When I open a document within files, I can simply edit within Teams, simply click Dictate, and then I can begin speaking. Do you ever wish you could just talk to your computer and have it write for you? Research shows that you can speak much faster than you can type. What if you could type with your voice, just like this? 
Immersive Reader, Translate, and Dictation are fabulous tools that teachers can use to differentiate for their students. So obviously you can see Microsoft Teams has an awful lot to offer every single student in our classroom. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to be with us today. And if you guys have any questions about Teams, you can, of course, take a moment and not only subscribe to this very channel, but check out all of the great opportunities that, to learn about Microsoft Teams over on teachercast.net slash Microsoft EDU. That's teachercast.net slash Microsoft EDU. Jenny and Celie, talk to us a little bit about where we can find out more information about the great things that you guys are doing online. Well, you can follow us on our blog. It's thegenaleeshow.com. That's J-E-N-A-L-L-E-E. -E. And of course, if you're looking for more information about everything, you can go over to education.microsoft.com. They have amazing resources. All you have to do is sign up and everything there is available for you guys to download. And one last time, we want to say thank you guys for being a part of this online series all about Microsoft Teams. We want to thank Jenny and Salee for being here today. And on our next video, we're going to talk all about how you guys can keep yourself organized with Microsoft Teams. You don't want to miss that. And again, teachercast.net slash Microsoft EDU has all the answers and all of our great podcasts, blogs, and now our online course. So on behalf of Jenny and Salee and everybody here in the TeacherCast Educational Network, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you to keep up the great work in your classroom and continue sharing your passions with your students.